what, what is home to you? I think the, we're able to go out further in life when we have something that grounds up. I have a feeling that you two are home to each other. I mean, that's beautiful, Ooh, Jan. Hesitated. That's beautiful. That's, that is nice. But then notice Sarah, like, hesitated, so we don't know I'm not. <laughs> that was a beautiful way to wrap this up. Um, no, you know, it's so funny because I'm not just saying this. I, I just was saying to Tegan, when we come back here, there's this code, this language that you use when you're home. You know, where did you go to high school? What neighborhood did you grow up in? It doesn't matter how well I know Montreal. I lived there 13 years. I know New York. I know LA. I have a place in Vancouver. I've traveled the world. I know these things. But I come back here, and someone says, uh, I went to Wisewood, and, or I go to Wisewood, and I'm like, I know who you are. I know where you, I know the city. I know who your drama teacher was in 1996. Like, I, I feel, um, I feel like just like, I feel home. And I, I think that, um, you know, coming from here, even though we wanted to leave, I think that's a very normal thing to want to do when you get out of your parents' house and you're free finally or whatever. I, I didn't leave here because I didn't love it or because I didn't have a good childhood or that, you know, I didn't have good experiences. In fact, I had the best experiences. Some of my best friends are sitting here tonight who I met when I was 14 years old. I mean, we had an amazing childhood. It was idyllic. There were challenges, but we had each other. We had the support of our community. We still have the support of our community. Oh, very much so. It's so amazing. They're very, that. very proud of you. And and Calgary claims you mm -hmm. for their own, we no like matter how far you go. We like being claimed. You're it's Calgarian. Like, yeah. so we you know. are, but you know, we are, and I think that Calgary did shape who we ended up being, and we, you know, it's- We it's, still cheer for the flames. We still cheer for the flames. We still talk about the 88 Olympics like they just happened. Um, <laughs> You know, like we, we, there is something about our work ethic and our personality and our manners and, and like it, that comes from Calgary. I land here and I'm like, I get it. I get, I get why we are the way we are. And a lot of our early experiences, like Sarah was talking about, our bad review, but also some of our really positive experiences were people who were loyal to us. You know, Canada, sometimes people in the industry here will joke that Canada eats its own or it doesn't support its own. And the truth is, is I don't think that that is necessarily true, at least not for us. But Canada pushed us. It didn't coddle us. It encouraged us. It helped finance, uh, you know, videos and international travel. It, it didn't it didn't just immediately fall in love with us. It got to know us. And, and our rewards came later in our career from Canada. But like that was important. And I think Alberta is full of hardworking people. And I think that there are a lot of people that we were raised by and that we grew up like around who showed us that whatever it is that you do, whether you're a farmer or you're a builder or you're a teacher, you do it the best you can do. And, and you contribute to your community and all these things. And these, th these are things that we applied to our career and our job and our lives. And when I come back here, everyone around us is reflecting that back to us. So it makes sense that we're this way because we came from here. Well, I think that's a good place to, to <laughs> end. And we like Peter's drive-in. And, <laughs> and Peter's drive-in. Peter's drive-in. Let's get friends. <laughs>